Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up the Argent Wallet as a browser extension on your laptop or computer web browser, and you can interact with the StarkNet ecosystem, which is an Ethereum layer two that will be having an airdrop at some point in the near future. So if you still want to get in on that and interact with the StarkNet ecosystem, you're gonna need a StarkNet compatible wallet, and Argent is the biggest one. So let's get to it. Now for starters, you're gonna to want to go to argent.xyz, and then you actually have to hit on Argent X, which is the web browser compatible version. The regular Argent wallet is only for mobile. Then you can download it for your web browser. Now I'm using the Brave browser right now, but if I hit on Google Chrome, it will still allow me to add it. So I'm going to add this extension to my Brave browser. Now, once I have done that, it's going to come up here in my web browser extensions. I'll just pin it to the top here to make it easier to access. And then we have to either create a new wallet or we can restore an existing wallet. So if you already had a StarkNet wallet, and for some reason you lost access, but you have the private key, you can restore it by hitting on this button, but I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new one. And once we go through the disclaimers and enter our password, we are ready to go. So let's go ahead and open up the browser extension wallet, and this is what it looks like. Now you can see currently, I don't have any Ethereum in this wallet because we just created it, so now we have to fund it. And in order to fund your StarkNet wallet, you're going to need to bridge some assets to the StarkNet layer two. So you can do that either from the Ethereum mainnet, or you can bridge assets from a different layer two, like Arbitrum, Optimism, ZK Sync, or any of the other ones. Now, one of the bridges you can use is layer swap, although there's tons of other bridges and I've posted many videos on this channel showing exactly how you can use different bridges. But for the purposes of this tutorial, let's just make a bridge transaction using layer swap. So I'm first going to connect my MetaMask wallet, which is where I have the other assets on different layer twos that I'm going to be bridging from. So when I connect my wallet, I need to select the source of these funds. And in this case, I'm gonna send some funds from ZK Sync era to StarkNet. And like I said, you can bridge from any of these different networks. It doesn't have to be ZK Sync. Now, when you're bridging to StarkNet, it's not actually the same wallet address. Normally, if I was bridging from, let's say, ZK Sync to Base or Optimism or Linea or any of these other networks, it's actually the exact same crypto wallet address. But in the case of the Argent wallet and the StarkNet ecosystem, it's a different wallet address. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I go to my new Argent wallet copy the address, and then go back over here to layer swap and paste in my StarkNet address. I can also autofill it from wallet, which is probably actually a safer way to do it. So let's just go ahead and do that. If I connect my Argent X wallet here, it's going to automatically read my wallet address. So that's probably a better way to do it there instead of copy pasting it. And now I just need to select how much ETH I want to send. So I have a balance of 0.086. Let's just go ahead and send 0.03 ETH to StarkNet. And you can see that I'm receiving slightly less than that because there's gas fees and transaction fees for doing this, unfortunately. But if you want to interact with the StarkNet ecosystem and potentially qualify for an airdrop, these are the prices that must be paid. So let's go ahead and hit swap now and confirm the transaction. You can see that I'm taking a hit of about $3 after it's all said and done in fees. So let's first confirm the transaction in our MetaMask wallet. And then we should receive our deposit in the new Argent wallet, although it might take a couple of minutes. Okay, so there we go. My transaction was confirmed and I have now received my funds in my new Argent X wallet. So if I wanted to use this, I could actually hit on this useful button right here that says StarkNet applications. And this is where we can go through and interact with the StarkNet ecosystem. So I'll just show you one example of how this could work. For example, the StarkNet ID is the StarkNet naming service so I can get a name for my wallet that isn't just a random string of letters and numbers. I can actually have a customizable domain name. So let's go ahead and connect our wallet to this application and then we will be able to search for a domain name. So let's see if cryptocove.stark is still available and it turns out it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and register cryptocove.stark. Now there is gonna be a fee for this transaction, but that is okay. And whenever we interact with applications using the Argent X wallet, it's gonna pop up and ask us to confirm these transactions, confirm the amount we're paying and the gas fees by hitting this button right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 
and register my new domain. And there we are, cryptocove.stark has been minted and I now have this as an NFT in my wallet. And if I open up Argent X now, it automatically links me to cryptocove.stark, which is a nice feature. Although you can see I did take quite a hit there, almost $20 to register this thing. Anyways, yeah, that is how you use the Argent X wallet, how you bridge funds to it, and how you can interact with different applications in the StarkNet ecosystem. Now, if you want to see a full tutorial on how you can maximize your qualifications for a StarkNet airdrop in the near future, then subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be releasing that at some point in the next couple of weeks. Good luck, and I'll see you in the next video.